princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about my April empties. I haven't actually done an empties video for the entirety of the year so far so I actually have a fair few empties and I'm going to try and get through them as quick as possible because these always end up being super long videos. So to start off with I've got some cleansers. I've got the Body Shop Chamomile Waterproof Eye and Lip Makeup Remover, the Holica Holica Seed Blossom Moisture Cleansing Oil as well as an Etude House Nail Polish Remover. So all three of these have been really big favourites for me. I loved the Chamomile Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover because it doesn't sting my eyes which is great because a lot of products do. The nail polish remover is also great. It smells like peaches, it's really gentle for your nails and I swear it's been helping my nails grow longer because it's just a lot gentler. And the Holica Holica Seed Blossom Moisture Cleansing Oil smells amazing, takes off my makeup quickly and it was very inexpensive so I actually kind of want to buy another one of these soon. I also finished up two boxes of contact lenses. I finished the Lil Moon 3 Tone Color contact lenses and I've got the last pair in my eyes today. I really really enjoyed these. They're definitely much more comfortable than the Select Fairy. These are the Mode Brown lenses. I didn't love them. They weren't the best color for me and they're not as comfortable as the Lil Moon. So in future I'll be trying more of the Lil Moon brand. I also finished up one of my favorite products which is the Misha All Around Safe Block Soft Finish Sun Milk. And you guys have seen a fair few of these in my empties reviews before. So this is one of my favorite sunscreen brands. It's soft, it's matte, it doesn't leave any oily residue on my skin and it doesn't irritate my skin either. I also finished off these two products from Swanee Coco. So I finished the Multi Solution Triple V Ampoule which is a massive massive bottle and this was awesome for giving my skin increased elasticity so it felt really really bouncy and really lovely but I don't think it was good enough that I would repurchase it and the same with the intensive snail moisture care ampoule um, this was really lovely to use and it made my skin bouncy soft very moisturized very snaily and good but I'm not 100% sure I would repurchase this one either. Mostly for me because I am a beauty blogger, I review a lot of skincare. It can be really hard to get new, fresh, exciting content for you guys if I keep repurchasing the same things. I can't keep reviewing the same things. So that's part of the reason why I won't repurchase select things. One of the older empties is the Jadu Green Moist Emulsion. I really, really enjoyed using the Jadu range and I've still got some of the toner left um, and I pretty much emptied everything apart from the toner so far because the toner was a lot bigger so you can always tell even if it's a sponsored video if I end up using all of it obviously I still liked it. So for some of the weirder products I used up a Clarins Extra Firming Body Lotion and I used so many of those Clarins lip balms that it's no surprise that I get so many freebies from them because I always purchase when they have the free products so this is really lovely. Another two holy grails are the Innisfree Green Tea Mint Fresh Scalp Scaler which I absolutely adore as well as the Pure Smile Snail Lip Treatment which I finally finished the first one of. I have two backups, they don't make these anymore which I'm very very sad about but I've still got some. I actually finished up quite a bit of makeup this time. I finished up the Innisfree Longwear Cushion in 11. They don't make it anymore, which is really upsetting and stupid because it was a really, really good color. So I will miss this very much. I finished up the Misha Art Designing Sebum Cut Pack, which I've had for like four years. So I didn't actually finish it, finish it. It still has some left around the perimeter, but I'm not that dedicated in getting it out because it is so old. I thought it'd just be nice to not use it. <laughs> I also finished up the Dolly Wink Mascara as well as a Eye of Horus Liquid Definer. I wouldn't purchase the Eye of Horus Definer again because the tip didn't stay very small. As you can probably see, it's quite chunky um, and since it's a felt, it did kind of break a little bit. Whereas with the Dolly Wink Mascara, I actually really enjoyed using this. It came free with one of the liquid liners, but again, it's so old. I didn't actually finish all of it. I just and needed to go because it's unsafe to keep using them around your eyes. As for masks, I used one of the Holica Holica Baby Silky Foot Peeling Masks, which is way better than the Tony Molly one. Definitely peeled my feet best. As well as some of the Swanee Coco Masks and some of the My Beauty Diary Royal Jelly Sheet Masks. I love the Royal Jelly ones. They are amazing and they smell so delicious. For some little extras, I've also been using up the Smile Brilliant Teeth Whitening Gel as well as the Desensitizing Gel, which are really, really good and there will be, actually the review will probably already be up by the time this is out. And for my final two, since my camera is flashing the red battery light and dying, I have the CND Vinyl Lux Weekly Top Coat, which is my holy grail for nail polish. It makes my nails look so shiny and it helps the nail polish last a lot longer. As well as a really old one, which is the Maison Returning Starfish Cream. And I liked this 
they don't make it anymore anyway but I probably wouldn't repurchase it because it is made of ground up starfish which I think is mm. Mm. I just don't feel very good about it so not a product that I would repurchase even if I could but it did actually work very well for my skin and that is it for my empties in April so I got through that a lot quicker than I usually would I'm trying to cut my rambling down because the editing was just getting insanely long so I hope you guys enjoyed a bit of a quicker video but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time